I finally got my 48 inch Toro grandstand back. It had a hydro leak. And there you go, all done. That's how it looks. This is how I get everything in here. It's not perfect, but it works. It does the trick, gets everything in there that I need. I still have my enclosed trailer that has my other equipment in there, like my stand on aerator, my walk behind aerator, a bunch of product you know grass seed and starter fertilizer still um, as well as my ride on spreader sprayer my toro spray master so as my business keeps growing and evolving so does my storage and i've gone from big storage to tiny storage to now mid-sized storage we'll see if i have to upgrade again to a little bit bigger hopefully not the way i have everything set up i should be able to fit everything between this storage and my enclosed trailer so yeah my uh, grandstand had a hydro leak it was it was fortunately just one of the hoses nothing near as bad as it could have been you know like it could have been an actual hydro pump went out but those things are still good to go so we're back up and running but i dropped off my i basically did an exchange right i dropped off my 52 inch grandstand multi-force because it's over 50 hours and it needs it's hydraulic fluid to be flushed so when you get a new grant toro grandstand after the first 50 hours they want you to drain all the hydro fluid and put fresh fluid in kind of like the oil changes you know depending on the, the brand the mower like the grandstands first eight hours they want you to drain the oil and put new oil in so that's easy enough to do on your own but the hydro i wouldn't recommend doing that unless you're one of those people that is good at doing all that kind of stuff, you know, working on things, taking them apart, working on them. That's not me. I know that's not a lot of guys out there or even have the time for that. Even if I was that guy, I guess if you are that guy, you have the time or you find the time, but I'm not that guy. So I am not finding the time to figure that out. I'd rather just drop it off at the dealer and have them do it. Fortunately, I have two mowers now, so I'm not down. When I got my grandstand, it's a lot of construction in the background over here. When I first got my 48 inch Toro grandstand back in 2016, and I had to get the hydro fluid change and all that, they were able to give me a, a loaner. Like he had, you know, he's always keeps like a, a 52 or a 60 inch, you know, grandstand just on hand for different things like that. Like whether it's just a demo to potentially buy it or as like a loaner if your mower's down or whatever the deal is. So I was able to have something um, actually, no, you know what it was? I used my walk behind. I used my 48 inch walk behind uh, for a week, however long it took to get that hydro fluid changed. That's right. I remember making a video about that saying how much I appreciate my grandstand and how I can't believe I used this belt drive walk behind all that time for like two or three years before I got the grandstand. So that's what it was but since then there has been plenty of times that i have had issues with my grandstand and i didn't want to use my walk behind and you know i didn't say that though but you know they volunteer my dealer volunteered to let me have a loaner and stuff so now i have two two main mowers i don't even have the walk behind anymore i traded that in to put towards this ultimate purchase so now he has that he's either going to sell it or just use it as like a you know a loaner right like when someone has a mower down and they just need something that'll do the trick uh but so now i have two efficient mowers two grandstands one's a multi-force and one's a regular grandstand that's the 48 and the the multi-force is the 52 because that's the smallest they come in 52 and 60 otherwise i would have got a 48 
if they came in a 48 multi-force because it fits in most gates but they only have 52 so now i have to use the 48 i have to either bring the 48 and the 52 at one time for those gates that i can get through with the 48 or just keep using the 30 which is another reason why i got it to get into all the smaller gates that are less than 48 and the gates that only the 48 would get through and the 52 wouldn't so either way i've got a variety now as my company grows so i have different options i can take on pretty much any client and i can keep growing